Most of you know that I'm Dr. Ferguson, but some of you have asked me what I'm a doctor of. You know, I'm not a medical doctor. I'm actually a PhD, which stands for Doctor of Philosophy, which means I went to school for a really long time and did a lot of original research and wrote a very long book on it called a dissertation. The subject that I'm a PhD in is leadership studies, which obviously means studying leadership, what it means to lead and leadership throughout the ages. This week, I thought I'd tell you some stories about some of my favorite leaders throughout history, what I loved about them and what we can learn from them today. In week one of virtual learning, I talked to you about one of my favorite leaders already, Winston Churchill. Churchill was the prime minister of Great Britain during World War I, excuse me, World War II. This was a very dark time in the history of that island. In the early days of the war, all of Europe had fallen to Hitler and the Nazis. The British had been driven off the continent at Dunkirk. Some of you may have seen that movie about the miraculous rescue of the army by civilian boat, boats crossing the English Channel. Soon thereafter, the German Air Force began bombing London every night, destroying parts of the city. The U.S. was not yet in the war, and a large portion of American citizens protested against being involved in a European war they felt had nothing to do with them. Churchill had a gift of using language, and he used great words and speeches to give his people hope and optimism in the midst of a dark, frightening time. Churchill said, for myself, I am an optimist. It does not seem to be much use being anything else. He also said, never give in, never give in, never, 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 in nothing, great or small, large or petty, never give in, except to convictions of honor and good sense. One of my favorites of his sayings was, success consists of going from failure to failure without loss of enthusiasm. Isaiah 41.10 encourages God's people, fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. As God's people, we have his strength. We are upheld and protected by him. In times like the ones we're in now, it's easy to be negative and pessimistic, to complain and to moan. Anyone can do that, but only leaders only those who place their hope and their trust in the living God can encourage and bring strength to others through strong words and actions. The world needs strong leaders like Churchill who will speak words of life and truth and to give them what they need in difficult times is an act of love and it's an act of service. You have that in you. Will you use it? I hope you have a great day today. Take care.